so you you already had like given some high level idea about like whether using a shared database or like a data store per microservice and then pros and cons of each right so um, again like uh, is like specific to business needs we need to decide this architecture or like uh, there are any other factors that you actually take like uh, consider while deciding whether we need to go with the shared database or uh, service to service data store model yeah it is actually uh, as per microservice principle if the design permits it is always recommended to go for uh, microservice per database uh, but uh, there are some scenarios where uh, they, i have seen some projects uh, where they started with microservice per database but they could not succeed uh, because as a data model was growing and they were not able to maintain the integrities uh, across the data stores and the transaction capabilities again they sh- uh, sw- shifted back uh, from microservices shared data to microservice shared database model uh, so like that uh, so initially uh, they went as per microservice principle like each microservice for one database but again they reverted back to microservice shared database because of their data model and their growing data uh, entities or business requirements did not permitted to scale that to that architecture so it all depends upon our design the business data model and the business requirements got it so the next slide is uh, mostly again like uh, with yeah, the same database with the, right so current, you spoke about yes. it already yes okay. yes i'll move to the next slide yeah so this is one more advantage uh, if we go with this kind of uh, service to service based uh, microservices based architecture so which we follow this as a polyglot architecture uh, the technology stack that we decide uh, we do not focus on a single technology stack if it is a monolithic complete code base it has to be developed either in java or python or dot net any any component but here we can now as i was telling you as part of the y axis we will split this monolithic into multiple microservices based on the functionalities so what will happen when we split this into different microservices is we can develop one microservice in one tech stack another microservice in another tech stack uh, so like that uh, so because actually here it is a service to service communication should fo- will follow interoperability like it is a pure based rest based communication uh, whether in json format or xml format so json or xml is not bind to any programming language mm-hmm. so any programming language can understand this so i can design the microservice one with the uh, spring related framework i can design microservice two with main stack microservice three uh, with the j2e stack like that again it depends for example i have a microservice that caters to high cpu intensity for example let us take transaction based application transactional microservices for example in healthcare we get or uh, it is if it is related to an order related service so it is a high transaction based things or uh, uh, and uh, even in financial sector also so that requires a uh, lot of cpu intensive based application for which java supports it and uh, we also need to have a service that performs high analytics with the more input output uh, leading to uh, scalable data stores so that we can use uh, for uh, for catering to the no sql or uh, spark related hadoop related microservice uh, similarly we can have the kind of blocking calls which actually doesn't doesn't uh, need for that microservice for example if that service is having more db calls or more external integration calls uh, we can go for uh, single threaded uh, because that doesn't require more cpus but it is more high io intensive application so for that we can go for node js kind of stuff so like yeah. that we can decide on which service uh, is even functionality also that is uh, actually possible also by by knowing the functionality of the service and by knowing the number of users accessing that service functionality so we can split that into microservice and then we can decide the tech stack of that service in that way we will have a freedom to use multiple technology stacks in this way one limitation is there one advantage is there uh, limitation is we should find the multiple tech stack people to develop this this kind yeah, of exactly. things that's right and uh, the second way is uh, suppose in case if we have a team with a diverse set of technologies we can utilize these things in this way. 
Correct. Exactly. Yeah. I was asking the same question because again, like managing different people of different skill set is again a challenge, right? Correct. Correct. Yes. Right. But of course, like if uh, the need is there and like if there are data centric operations, because Python is always good for like related to data or whatever you need to do with the data because it has a yes, huge yes, uh, exactly. library support, right? And Node.js yes, is also yes. what you mentioned. Of course, they are yes. based on use cases to use cases. 